A young man learning his fate today for the attempted murder of his former girlfriend. As Foreign Carry reports, the convict was also ordered to pay compensation to the victim. Old Denez Young was sentenced to 10 years behind bars Thursday and ordered to pay compensation of $4,000 to his former girlfriend, Indira Thompson, after a jury convicted him earlier of stabbing her multiple times on her face and bosom two years ago. Thompson now has permanent scars and also lost a finger during the attack. Court evidence revealed that Young used marijuana frequently prior to the attack. A psychiatrist also noted in his probation report that on the day the incident happened, Young had just lost his job and Thompson had just informed him that she wanted out of the relationship. The psychiatrist noted that his frequent use of marijuana and his circumstances at the time triggered the attack. The court also noted that Young was extremely remorseful and had offered to pay compensation and was extremely respectful to the court. Crown Prosecutor Patrick Sweeting had asked the court to sentence Young to 20 years in prison. However, Young's attorney, Jaron Manger, asked for probation. In the end, Justice Charles sentenced Young to 10 years in prison due to the special circumstances of the case. However, she ordered that he receive psychotherapy and counseling. She also ordered that he spend the last three years of his sentence at Sandilands so that he can be monitored prior to his release. Outside court, relatives of the convict and the victim clashed, with the victim alleging that she had been threatened, prompting the police to intervene. Now, Young was also ordered to pay a compensation of $4,000 to the victim, and he has by the end of the year to do that. If he doesn't, four more years will be added on to his sentence, and that will run consecutively. Fern Carey, Southern Network News. Also from the courts, the prosecution has closed its case in the abetment to murder trial of Kervin Neely. Neely is accused of killing 17-year-old Enrico Major back on June 1st of last year. The teen was brutally stabbed to death near the Essie McPherson Junior High School. During today's proceedings, Crown Prosecutor Aaron Johnson tendered into evidence the certificate of conviction of Dwayne Peter Lockhart, who pleaded guilty to killing Major last week. The, cake was then, the case was then adjourned to 11 Friday morning. Attorney Glendon Roll is defending Neely. Police have also charged 20-year-old Nassau Street resident Dejeron Moss with the March 18th murder of Alfred Ferguson. Ferguson was police say sitting in the front of a residence on West Avenue with another man. This is off Carmichael Road, by the way, and a man armed with a handgun fired several shots at them. Ferguson died on the scene from his injuries and the other male was transported to hospital. In court, Moss was not required to enter a plea to the murder charge. Bail was denied and he was remanded to prison. He returns to court on May 28th for service of voluntary bill of indictment papers.